Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to do a plan with me in my Moxie Life Planner for the week of February 13th. So I feel like I've been needing to show this planner a little bit more love. It's truly one of my favorite planners and I've been actively using it. I just don't always get to show it. So this is how last week looked. I use a hand come plan kit in here. I absolutely love it. I'll be using one of her kits again. I did not work on weekly actions this week. I didn't really feel like I needed them. I've been trying to like give myself permission, like just because these pages are here doesn't mean that I have to fill them in. This is like the week prior. I didn't really do good about like going back and like checking things off, but this is pretty much like the vibe that I've been going with with planning in this planner. So not a whole lot of stickers and things like that. You'll see where I did my goals here. Again, didn't do a reflection. This is mainly because I do my journaling and my Hobonichi cousin, at least for the most part. So I felt very repetitive doing it if I was going to add it in my uh, moxie life. I did, however, get my February goals done. You'll see my pages probably look a little bit bare than most, but again, I'm trying to remind myself that in 2023, it is not about filling every inch of this space, but being really, really intentional with what my goals are and just being a little bit more real with myself, right? I don't have to fill it up just to make it look good for the internet. So these are my goals for the month of February. Just to quickly go over them, for my personal, a lot of it is like to prepare for Go Wild, which is, if you're not familiar, it is a planner conference. It takes place uh, the first week of March. So I have like my hair appointment and my manicure. I also have unsubscribe on here. I've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed by like sub boxes and things that I'm getting, just like an abundance of stuff and like no place to put it or the capacity to use it all in the rate that I'm getting it. So First thing is to go through emails again. I felt like I did a really good job for like Black Friday and all of that stuff. And now we're back at square one and my inbox is like exploding. Um, I put down monthly subscriptions and that includes things like revisiting my cloth and paper subscription, my Stitch Fix sub subscription, any sort of sticker subscriptions that I really like. I can't keep up with using that much stuff. Um, also, it costs a lot of money to keep getting things and then not using them. Also, Patreon, I really only unsubscri unsubscribed from one. Again, really intentional. Like if I just wasn't um, visiting that Patreon or being very active in that group, then I left it. So now I officially only belong to two and that's really what I can handle. So for fun and recreation, obviously it says just prep for go wild. Like that's legit what this whole month is going to be about. Work and learning. I specifically only do things for social media in here. So I really want to focus on posting two videos a week. I think I said back in late 2022, I was going to scale it back from three videos a week to two videos a week, um, mainly because I am starting to lean into um, generating more income with my social media. Um, and those projects take a lot of time, right? Paid projects are are not like you know five minutes one and done it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff a lot of administrative stuff pre-approvals reshoots things like that so I did decide intentionally to scale back videos from three times a week which I've done for years and years and years um, to two times a week sometimes it's also only one time a week but I do what I can um, I also meant to add on here, I had the dot and then didn't write it in here, but it is to um, increase the amount of postings that I do for TikTok. I'm trying. It's hard. Instagram has been my baby for forever and ever, so working on that. Um, February goals, Valentine's Day and date nights. Uh, I did put for health and wellness workout routine again. In case you don't know, I've mentioned it a few times. I have been sick since the month of December for crying out loud. And so every time I thought I was starting to get better, I would actually get worse. And I would take like 10,000 steps backwards. Well, now after the third round of steroids and an inhaled steroid, um, I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. So hopefully I can get back into this this month. I want to read one to two books. I've actually already read one. So yay. Um, and then tax prep, $500 in savings, and then our shed project. We've got to get our shed moved and we got to redo the base of our shed in our backyard. And that has to happen soon. So that's where I am with the Moxie Life. So since it is Valentine's week, everyone's favorite Hallmark holiday, I did decide to use this kit from Hand Come Plan. It is a journaling kit. She just started adding these to her shop just a couple of weeks ago or months ago. I'm not entirely sure, but I love this. It's so friggin' cute. And I was like, look at all these hearts and the love and all of that stuff. So definitely want to use that 
for this week. Super excited. Okay, so let's start with the date covers. I'm going to grab my tweezers here. I really enjoy or am enjoying more of these types of kits, like journaling kits. I feel like it's just the, the subtle change that I have been looking for in planner kits. Like I was just saying to some of my friends, I'm like, I think I'm just kind of done with the typical kits that just always have the same stuff in them, right? Like the same full boxes, the same half boxes, even like some shops, even the formats of the pages are exactly the same. And it just kind of like, at least for me personally, like hindered my excitement for planning where I just felt like it was the same thing like week after week. So I'm sure some of y'all can relate and others of you are like, I love doing the same thing forever and ever. And that's great. But I found myself getting bored. And when I get bored, I don't want to do something anymore. And I just love planning too much to just give up on it. So this was like this new and exciting thing that I like absolutely, absolutely love. Okay, let's get these dates on here. Okay, so I definitely want to use at least along the side. Actually, let's do the these little torn off pieces here. I kind of want to do, I guess we'll do the stripes on the side. The hearts are a little, they'd be upside down if I did them that way. So <laughs> let's, let's move some stuff out of the way. Woo, we got some, there we go. Sorry about that. Sometimes that happens and I don't see it happening until I look up and uh, I, I just, I'm still that girl that's like refusing to use studio lights when I film. It is just not my thing. I don't enjoy looking at it either. So, um, yeah, it's just not, not my thing to do when it comes to, to filming and things like that. All right. So got those down uh, already off to a fantastic start. I'm not even going to pretend I'm going to use this sidebar. So I am just going to use the love sticker, like all the way down the side because, um, yeah, I don't, sidebars are not my thing. I have too many other, uh, planners to use, <laughs> to use the sidebar anymore. I've just, I've accepted that. I hope you'll accept it as well. Um, <laughs> but for the longest time, I would like beat myself up that I hadn't used the sidebar. I was like, oh my God, I'm the worst person ever. And that's just not the case. Okay. So let's do the washi strips. I wish that there were two Actually, there's two of the blue heart ones, so we'll use that one. And I'm just going to kind of put this across the top here. Um, I leave space for the weather up above there. I like the way that that looks. And I always mean to start on the inside and work my way out to the outside so I don't have to tear that like that. And then I, I forget every single time. I also grabbed um, Hannah's weekend stickers, and I think I'm going to use this one right here because... These kits do not come with a weekend sticker, and I love a weekend sticker. So let's do the washi strip right here. I don't even know if you're going to see it because the weekend sticker is pretty thick. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. I like the way that that looks. Okay, so some of the other decorative pieces, I try to wait to put those in until... I've put all the other elements in here. So first off for this week, I actually have the day off on Monday, the day after the Super Bowl. I did intentionally take a day off because I was like, I actually want to stay up and watch the game. Kind of fizzled out on watching football this year. And I don't really know why, um, but I do love watching the Super Bowl. I love getting together, like watching the game, all that fun stuff. Just a good time. Okay, so day off there. I am going to put a little like list thing for the day because typically on days off, I don't actually have the day off. <laughs> I try to focus on a lot of things around the house that I can catch up on. That way on Sunday, I can truly enjoy just hanging out and watching the game. All right, so that's Tuesday. So since, or Monday, since Tuesday is Valentine's Day, I am seriously considering just, I don't know what to do with the hearts. Maybe the hearts can go like all the way just across this week. I don't know. I love getting decorative on weeks that are just very like holidays, that kind of thing. Even though I don't put too much emphasis on holidays like this, I think that that's kind of cute. Um, other than that, on Tuesday, I don't have too much going on there other than work. So I'm just going to kind of leave that alone for the week. So I do have one appointment on the 13th and that's actually at one o'clock 
and that is just a one-on-one -on -one that I have. Actually, that's not at one o'clock. It's at three o'clock. So I'm glad I didn't like over schedule myself on Monday because that would have not been fun. <laughs> All right, that looks good. And then let's do another checkbox for Wednesday. I think I'm gonna do the pink and I'm just gonna lower this a bit here. And then on Thursday, we actually have CPR and first aid training. So I definitely wanna mark that off. So that's from nine. Kind of hard to see, but I really like this uh, sticker. And I think because of that, this is just a me thing. I'm gonna switch the color of the checklist that is on that page. Let's go with this peach. Is this peach? Oh my. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, and then um, also on Thursday, there are just stickers everywhere. Also, it's really, really dark here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but on my end, it is extremely dark. It's about to storm, so I'm kind of like rushing to get this done. All right, Thursday is payday. Disregard the stickers just like sticking all over my hands. But we definitely wanna get some acknowledgement for payday, best day of the week. Okay, then moving on to Thursday, actually Friday, oh my goodness. Um, I was gonna originally have a Friday Night Live here, but it's actually been moved. I'm like looking at my monthly and I realize that that's not happening here. However, if you are in the Planners and Wine Patreon group, they are having a Planners and Wine like VIP meetup. That's not until nine o'clock at night. Ugh, I'm such an early bird, but I love, love the VIP meetups. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the checklist here on Friday. Also need to put down garbage day. I did see that she includes this, this sticker here. Now the good thing that I love about these sheets is that you can take the script stickers and essentially they will cover up the day so you can use them to layer them. I did that a little bit last week and they looked so freaking cute. I don't know. Again, I'm just kind of loving like the journaling stickers absolutely love them and then i'm going to use the other checklist on saturday always need a checklist on saturday like never any doubt about that and then on sunday i actually have a couple of calls so i have another one-on-one -on -one at two o'clock and then at four o'clock i have a group call and i will just put those here on sunday afternoon and I'm going to use this big box here just because I like it. <laughs> That's going to be for grocery shopping on Sunday. And then I'm going to do the same thing on Thursday, but that one's going to be for laundry night. Not going to lie, I've kind of missed using stickers in my planner. I've had a few people that are like, oh my God, are you just not using stickers anymore? Like that's not totally true. I just kind of needed a little bit of a break, you know, to just... I don't know, like recenter. <laughs> I don't know, figure out what I was using stickers for and why and, you know, what kind of style I wanted to switch over to, like that kind of stuff. Okay, so I know that we're probably going to do something on Tuesday night, probably like order in dinner. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to put anything there just yet. Um, maybe I'll put the little ice cream cone there. We'll see what's planned. I'm going to leave that up to Jesse. <laughs> All right, and then, my goodness, I wanna use all of these like really cute things, but I am starting to run out of space. Uh, let's see, this little guy is cute. I'm just gonna fill, fill up this space over here. This is what I, oh, I have missed stickers. I'm not gonna lie, I have missed them. I don't really want this here because it's too close to that. Let's do the little cherry things. I think that's all I can fit for right now. <laughs> Put this back oh my gosh that's a that's a cute one right there okay okay i had to switch out my battery really quick before it died on me um so i think where i left off is i was going to work on habits but i found this sampler that i got with my order from hand can plan um and i think i'm just going to use this habit tracker right here kind of thing or maybe right here i just don't feel a need to do these all of these habits again because i do so many of them in my like hobonichis and things like that so i may just try to like fill the bottom space with some other things i'm just trying to figure out the best way that this could look um yeah that might work there we go <laughs> little bit of layering 
Actually, let me move that up just a smidge to cover the word habits. And there we go. Okay, I think I really, really like that. I might go back and order some more of these habit trackers or sleep trackers from her because I really love tracking my sleep. Um, but wow, I really like the way that this uh, turned out. Like I, I'm obsessed with journaling kits, you guys. You guys will have to let me know if you've started trying them out. Um, I just really like the, the different vibe of them instead of just the typical square things. But I love this for Valentine's Day. All I've got left to do is put in weather. I'll do that a little bit closer after this weekend passes because it's a little bit early to be putting in the weather. But that is how my week looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already. If you are already subscribed, make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.